What's up, everybody? So, my name's Shiloh, and, uh, Shy Fi, actually. So, we're gonna eat some food, and it's gonna be a Thanksgiving themed mukbang, mukbang. Whatever this word is pronounced, I've heard of mukbang, I've heard of mukbang, I've heard of mukbang, I've heard, I don't know. So I'm not gonna really mention it much. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that. So we're just going to start eating because I am hungry and it's two o'clock. Yeah, so I need to eat. Here's some water. So what do I, how do I do these? Like I explain the food. Okay, first of all, so my parents, we, we made a Thanksgiving dinner menu. Voila. Yes, we are very weird like this. We yeah. So I'll read this off to you. Let's here's a more zoomed up. Voila. So, my parents and I. So for the main courses we had oyster pecan sage dressing, pan brown gravy, barbecue brisket ribs and sausage, walnut cranberry sauce, Rudy's potato salad, Mayflower bacon corn, Roma fried zucchini. You know, wonderful birds, sweet potato casserole. Uh, and then for dessert, pumpkin pie, pecan pie, Misty Valley coffee. Um, so, I have all these items here except for pecan pie and the cranberry sauce. Eh, I don't know. Eh, I can do it without. And uh, yeah, I got everything else. Yeah, so, let's get started. So, uh... <laughs> These are so weird. All right. So, my head's like kind of cropped out, but y'all get it. So, I have the pumpkin pie. To eat. I have the pumpkin pie all ready to go. I can't talk to right today. So, voila. This is my plate. This is my plate. So, this is. First of all, this is the oyster pecan sage dressing. Very good. Very good. Um, it's made by my mom. Kind of like a tradition type of thing. And so, like her fam or her uh, parents used to make it a lot growing up, I guess. And so she's like, carry on the tradition, recipe stuff. The barbecue brisket, ribs, and sausage. And I'm not, I don't have brisket. I think this is ribs. So, this is ribs, sausage, voila. Um, cranberry sauce, no. Potato salad, Rudy's potato salad, like literally from Rudy's barbecue restaurant. My dad really loves their potato salad for some reason. I hate it, but I'm including it in the. Uh, I have like two bites there. So, that's that. Uh, Mayflower bacon corn. Corn. And there's a lot of bacon in there, which it's good. It's good. It's good. It's really good. Um, my dad makes this. That's like his thing, his tradition. Um, and then, so sweet potato casserole. So this this is marshmallow. It's kind of melted a little bit, but it's marshmallow with casserole i'm guessing um my family calls these wonderful birds because there's a whole my mom some background story i don't know why we we call them wonderful birds because mom's childhood her and her siblings used to think there was like a hymn called wonderful words but they used to think it was wonderful birds and so you know a hymn like a, a church hymn singing wonderful birds is kind of funny. So it's kind of a joke inside family type of thing. Inside joke type of thing. So, uh, and then lastly, I have the bread. And I don't know what type of bread we have this is, but um, we didn't put it in the thing. But uh, yeah, so voila, there you have it. So my favorites are the dressing and the corn. 
And it's even better when you mush it around together. So good. It's so good. <laughs> and did I forget pumpkin pie? Oh, and Cool Whip. Sponsor me, Cool Whip. I eat y'all a lot. All right, let's do it. I don't know where to start. We gotta get we gotta get a corn dressing thing. Mmm. Mmm. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, there's the placemat. Has that like Native American type of feel. So, yeah. Uh. Mmm. So how was y'all's Thanksgiving? Mine was good. It was literally me and my parents. My sister was with her in-laws family. They did their own thing. And my brother had a baby a few weeks ago in another state. And so that's, so he's just trying to chill. Um, the Cowboys won, so that's good. Cowboys won. I did not think, well, I did kind of think we were going to win because we better had won. Because the guy we were playing, the team we were playing, they are playing a quarterback that hadn't played in four years. Like, come on now. Come on. We had to win. The division is so weak right now that it was funny is that the Cowboys are going to Go eight and eight. Cowboys are gonna go eight and eight again, and then what? And then we like lose in the first round, and then we have the same exact team, all the coaches back, and it's just the same old, same old. So these wonderful birds, the sweet potato casserole. It's a weird thing because like I hate the casserole part, but with the marshmallow, it's so good. So here we go, it's a classic bite. Um, marshmallow casserole. I think this is a casserole. I don't know, honestly, wait, wait. Got to totally confused. I don't know my foods. So I'm thinking this is sweet potato, this is marshmallow. I don't know where the casserole part comes in. Inform, I'm dumb about this, so let's see. Mm. I hate talking when I'm eating because uh, I don't do that. I usually eat, watch some TV, watch some Netflix, and then I'm good. So I've been watching this show on Netflix that never thought I'd be watching it. Cheers. Watching a show called Cheers. I'm watching that show because I watched another show, previous show, called The 90s. It's like a documentary about the 90s, CNN. And they were saying how much of a significance Cheers was. So I was like, I should probably watch it because it was such a like significant show in the 80s. And like when it stopped airing early 90s, people were like freaking out, trying to get the next Cheers. And so Cheers was like the start of the good old American community type of feel where you get the same situation is going on um and it's just like kind of kind of fun don't eat this potato salad which i hate oh oh <laughs> yeah so bad but i gotta do it for youtube i gotta do it hmm it's, I can't believe, like, people actually make a whole YouTube channel based off mukbangs. Mukbangs. Whatever. Um, that's crazy. I mean, props to them. They eat and talk for a living? Psh. What's my cup of tea? <laughs> the one thing I'm always annoyed with during this time of year, well, it's past now, but... Like yesterday and the day before, 
They would advertise Black Friday. Well, like yesterday. They're the worst commercials. They would advertise their Black Friday sales. But then they'd be like, doors open at 3 p.m. I'm like, wait, hold up. It's called Black Friday. Not Thursday. Y'all open up on Black Friday. On Black Friday. No, and so it's just like, it's just so disgusting because I'm just like imagining like, do people just go out on 3 p.m. on Thanksgiving and, and shop? I'm like, fam, enjoy your like family or something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Am I weird for saying that? I don't know. But, it's one thing that's always fascinating me. Like, I can't, I can never imagine myself shopping on Thanksgiving, like 2 p.m. Now, Black, the normal Black Friday midnight sales, I get it. I get it. That's fun, fun experience, fun for children. That's all fun. But, like... On the day of, like Thanksgiving Day, they start the Black Friday sales on Thanksgiving? No, no, no. That is where I draw the line. That's, that's a no, no. That's a no, no. So, that's that. Mm. Oh, I ate the potato salad too fast. Ugh. Ugh. Why do people like this? Ah. Oh. So nasty. The only thing I hate about watching Cheers is that it has eight seasons. And that was back in the day where they would have, like, weekly episodes. So it's like, 25 episode seasons. And I'm like, golly... So many seasons, so many episodes, so much time wasted. It's going to take me like a year to get through Cheers because I am not going to binge watch. I, I've stopped binge watching. It's not good for me. It's not good. Sweet potato casserole, wonderful birds. Really is like improved. I don't know if my taste buds died, but it's on my, it's on, it's third. I think it jumped over sausage and ribs for Thanksgiving food. It's growing on me. I actually thought my family and I were going to eat eat out for Thanksgiving. Because, you know, we didn't have like a big Thanksgiving. Like, we didn't. We had three people. It was three people. And I'm like, are y'all really going to cook for like three people? They're, they're, they're like, yeah, of course. I was like, whatever. Sure. I don't mind. I'm not complaining. But. Yeah. Oh, here's bread. Mmm. Mmm. Good. There's one funny thing. I kind of. See on Thanksgiving. I mean, I think I checked Facebook like at like 2 p.m. yesterday and I saw people like, oh, we just finished the turkey trot and the 5K and I'm like, running on Thanksgiving morning is the last thing I think of. Seriously, I never wake up on Thanksgiving morning like, <laughs> I never wake up on Thanksgiving morning just like. You know what? A good run is what I need right now. A good five or three mile run is what I need. And so, hey, kudos, kudos to y'all. Kudos to y'all running people. I don't know how y'all do it, but not my cup of tea. All I had to do was like sip lower and I could get oh this is perfect now halfway through the video 
I'm closer to the food. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is so much better. I need to, can I just start over? No, not doing that. Mmm. Oh, so we got pie. Oh, oh, I forgot about you. I don't know why I like pumpkin pie so much. And like, a lot of people don't like pumpkin pie. I don't know, I don't get it. Usually I like, like things I like are usually like other people that like it, but people like pecan pie more than pumpkin pie. I'm like, no, mm, no. Good ribs. We got the ribs and, and uh, sauces from Rudy's as well. So, Rudy's a good place. Rudy's is where it's at. This is a this is a channel that I've been dying at. Well, it's not a channel. It's like a niche niche. Um, YouTubers Cody Ko and Noel Miller, when they make videos together, they are the funniest things I ever watch. They are hilarious. I'm good. They're so funny. I don't think I've ever like genuinely laughed more at a video than the uh, than their series videos uh, on Love Island, the game. It was like playing this game, and they're just making. It's just so funny. So funny. With Christmas coming up. Um, you know, Amazon d destroyed Christmas. I said it, hot take. Amazon destroyed Christmas. Not the Grinch. Amazon. That should be an SNL skit. Of, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. But they flip it. You're a mean one, Mr. Jeff. Boom. Boom. You're a mean one, Mr. Jeff. Referring to Bezos, if you're confused. Um, you're a mean one, Mr. Jeff. Uh, I don't know the rest of the lyrics, so I'm done. I see that Todd the Creator made like a an EP of like Christmas things. I don't. But... Referring to Amazon. They really did destroy Christmas because like all I gotta do now for Christmas shopping buy gift cards. It's literally money, but like cool money. That's so, I mean it's a good and a bad thing. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me growing up. Maybe that's it. Maybe I've been doing gift cards the whole time. What? It'll be interesting this Christmas because it'll be my two nieces. So that'll be fun because the older niece is really like attentive, attentive to things now. She's very conscious. So it'll be her first Christmas where I feel like she knows what's really going on. And, uh, the baby, the other one is just, she's like one day old right now. Or two. No, she's a week old. Yeah, she is a week old. So, I'm not going to buy an Amazon gift card for my niece. I don't, I don't. <laughs> and so, that's where Amazon still has to conquer. Amazon has to be that cool enough for babies. That's probably like next on Jeff's plate. He's like, all right, meeting, we need to attract babies. And then ideas start popping up. That's seriously what he's doing. He saw a holiday that had a lot of consumerism and it's like, hey, get all your consumerism from me. So, voila. I've never bought anything on Black Friday. 
It's Black Friday, by the way. I don't know when this video is going up. Man, I'm taking my sweet time with this rib. You ever just have a feeling like you just want to try stand-up comedy? Because why not? Um, been very tempted to go to this one place I know of that they have like open mics every week and it's really like sign up for it and you're good so I have an opportunity but you know I'm not funny that's the thing like I'm not funny whatsoever but I have potential of writing in a way where the joke could be like sarcastically funny so, I don't know. It's just too much time wasted, I feel like. But, I think about it. Um, one day, I might just be like, you know what? Let's just go up there, tell people that I'm not funny. Like, start this, this is how I picture like, me standing or starting a stand-up routine thing what's up everybody what's up so i just want to say if you need to go bathroom if you need to go call your mom real quick at 8 p.m go on ahead because these next five minutes are not going to be funny like seriously i'm not funny i'm just very chill i'm a very chill dude and then that's how i start out and just keep going I don't know. See, that wasn't funny at all. But it was like letting you know it wasn't going to be funny. And then that lowers expectations. Bow. So I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do it. I don't know when, but I'm going to do it. Maybe if I go to a city that, that I don't really know anybody in, I'll do it because I feel more comfortable. Because I will never... See, and there's like a 0% chance. You know, you do stuff in your hometown. And you're like, there's a 5% chance I know like one person in this venue. You know, it's like, there's always, or like, you know, someone that knows this person. You know, it's always like that. And so that thought always comes to my mind. And so, oh, I got to finish this potato salad. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, I put way too many bites in this. Yeah. I have like one more bite of that. Oh, what is potato salad? I don't taste any potatoes. Okay, just put like. Rename potato salad to be like, I don't know, bad mushy salad. It's not just salad. Bad mushy pasta. That's more of a pasta feel. Let's just go back. Okay. So we got like one. Okay, I'm just going to finish this potato salad real quick. Not good. Not good. Ah, like ah. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I gotta eat something. Got gotta eat bread real quick. Okay, I'm back. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be really good. Oh, I have a lot of marshmallow. Man, nah, let's split this marshmallow real quick. There we go. I didn't realize I put this many bites. This is almost dessert. Legit. Marshmallows are just so. Sugary. 
Ah. There we go. Mmm. So good. So good. Oh, pie time. Pie time. Woo. It smells good. It smells good. All right, let's get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, pie. What else needs to go with this? Oh, you already know. Whooped cream. People always make fun of me because I said whoop cream, but it's cool, whip. But, hey, I'm from Texas. I can say whatever I want in any slang. Okay, so, yeah. So, we got some whoop cream with extra creamy made with extra. Wait, look at this. Oh, extra creamy made with real cream. Yeah, right. We all know you uh, get it from like GPO stuff. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just not talking. Oh, y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this whoop? Ah. Uh, here's the pie if you need a closer zoomed up look. Classic. Let me get my fork. Here we go. Let's whoop it. Yeah, I do put a lot of whip on my whoop on my pie. Deal with it. Go, go, go. Okay, no more on the. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that is perf, perf. Mmm. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. 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 <laughs> the best thing is about dessert come in two. If you can get two good food items together and it tastes sweet, those are the best desserts. Because... You want that mushy, like, whoa, I'm tasting, like, five things type of flavor. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. So good. So you gotta eat it like this. Because you gotta get the whooped and the pie. This is probably, like, my second favorite dessert of all time. First is the uh, the Pazookis from BJ's. They are the best tasting thing on this planet. Because it's, again, two items mixed in one. Cold ice cream, hot cookie. Huh. That's like two things. That's like two things on way opposite sides coming together. Mm. I love the crust on pie too because it gives you a hard crunchy thing mixed with the mushy pie substance mixed with the like light substance. So it's like three things in one. Mm. 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 So good. So good. This is a 10 out of 10. Actually, 11 out of 10. Mm. Also, don't lose sight. When it's like this, put the whip on that side as well. Or the whooped. Here we go. Boom. Oh, perf. Perf. It's, it's like another pie. What? You can't just eat pumpkin pie by itself. No. You got it with whipped cream. Oh, the crust. Oh, man, I guess. Mmm. Mmm. That's probably the best bite. When you get to the end, and like the hard, hard crust, mixed with the like slightly hard crust, mixed with the 
pie, good, nice substance mixed with the whoop cream light substance. So much going on. So much going on. Mm. You know, I was thinking about doing a podcast with this. But I've been like, nah. Nah. Because, nah. I've been too much for people that like actually listen to the podcast. Me taking these like long breaks. It doesn't get better than this. Doesn't get better than this. Doesn't get bad. Who nah. We don't gotta hide. This no 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 no. That's my rendition of college better thank you very much i love that song it gives you really good vibes it gives you like late night car vibe you know mm. i can feel my heart beating oh my goodness That's so weird. Eat one pie when you don't really have much sugar. And I, I never really have much sugar. So that's like, I think why my heart's beating because when I, when I get like, even like a dose of sugar, I'm like, ah, finished. Finished, finished with everything. I'm actually gonna go for seconds because like, this is nothing. And I just talk the whole time a lot. So I kinda wanna enjoy my food by myself. It's a very intimate experience. <laughs> but, um... Uh, uh, all of Thanksgiving leftovers. Mmm. Well. I think that's it. What, is that, what else is there to say? What else is there to say besides... Oh my god. I just had the best food I've ever had. <laughs> um... So, yeah. That's about it. Thank you for watching. Oh, I'm stuffed. No, I'm not stuffed. What am I saying? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Thanksgiving mukbang, 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 whatever it is. Hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Enjoy your own ride. New videos here and there. And, um, uh, peace. Let me, uh, uh, try to, try to stop it. Try to stop the video. Uh.